Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can probably tell, I'm not in my usual location. I've been traveling around and I just needed to make an intro and outro, so here I am. <laughs> in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can add the Google app into Canvas and then use that to create assignments in Canvas. I love this version of Google slash Canvas integration. It's my favorite, I use it all the time, and I really hope that you find it useful and like it as well. As always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it with your teacher friends, it just helps me help other educators with Canvas LMS when you engage with my content. Also, if you haven't heard, I've started a newsletter where I send tips and tricks directly to your email inbox. So if you would like to sign up for that, the link is in the description below. All right, guys, let's get started. Now, before we alter any assignment, we have to download the Google app into our course. So what I'm gonna do in order to access applications, I'm gonna go over to settings in my course navigation bar. And then at the top, you see we have like course details, all these different tabs, we're going to click apps. And a ton of different types of applications are going to pop up that we can integrate into Canvas or ultimately like sync. You should definitely look through the library of apps and check some out. But today we're gonna focus on syncing the Google app LTI. I'm gonna just type in Google into the search bar here, click on Google apps, and we need to go find what's called a consumer key and a shared secret. Now a consumer key and shared secret acts as essentially the syncing code. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to open up a new tab and type in Google app canvas consumer key and shared secret. Hit search and then we're going to go to the first link here. Thank you, Butte College. We will scroll down and bypass these directions, which they're great. But then we're going to go right here where it says get a key and secret here. Click it, click the generate LTI, and we're going to copy this. We'll copy the key, go back, paste in the key, return to that tab. Now we have the shared secret, copy this, and then we will paste that and then click finally add app. And now it says the app was added successfully. So now we'll just refresh this page and you'll now see over here in my course navigation, we have the Google Drive application added. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna click on it and I'm gonna make sure that my Google Drive is synced, which it does look like it is. I can actually sign out and choose the correct Google account if it's synced to the wrong Google account. So I can click sign out, then I'll do authorize. I want to do my Canvas Queen email account, allow. And now we have all of this content in my drive is now going to sync over into Canvas. But now how do we use this? Let me show you that next. I have returned to my modules page and I'm going to click on this demo assignment that I've created. So click on that. In the previous video, I showed you how to create forced copy links. And so we linked the assignment here to this button. I'm actually going to edit this and get rid of it because now it is not necessary. And we're going to go to submission type here. And I'm going to select now external tool and click find. Let me zoom out here. And we're going to see now that I have my Google Drive cloud assignment type. So I'm going to select this and then my Google Drive is now going to appear. So I can select any document. Really, it should be a Google slide or a Google Doc. Those are the two best types. And what will happen is when I, let's just select a random one here. I'm gonna do building roller coasters again, and we're going to click submit. 
So now the link to the assignment will appear right here, which is great. So now we'll scroll down and click save to see what this looks like. All right, it is now saved and we can scroll down and now see this Google slide attachment window at the bottom. This is honestly the best thing about this type of Google assignment is that it's visible in Canvas. Students can even edit this in Canvas, although I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because as you can see, it is a little bit small. This is still usable though in the sense of we can actually just click this name or title link and it will automatically open generating a copy of the assignment. And so then students can edit this. So you'll see here, I actually, I will change this little edit and we'll do hi there in all caps. And when I return, cause they are synced. So when we return to Canvas and we scroll down and I can zoom into the document here and scroll around. It says, hi there. <laughs> so you know that it did sync and it has changed. So now when a student is ready to submit this, all they would do is right here, I know it's not visible for us as teachers, but right here, they would just click the blue submit button. Now I would show you this as a student in student view, but you'll notice when I do forms a student view preview, uh, it just doesn't sync appropriately with the Google uh, drive or Google account. So it's not visible this way. So I usually just leave it as a teacher view. So we can just leave the student view, but I promise you, I promise you there is a blue submit button right here. <laughs> and that's how students would submit their Google Doc. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful. If it was, I'd love it if you'd let me know in the comments below. Also, before we go, I just want to mention that I have merch. So if you are a Canvas educator, teacher, and you like funny shirts, I'm going to leave a link in the description also for my Etsy store. So feel free to check that out. In the next video that I will be posting later this week, you guys will get a chance to see the Google LTI assignment. It kind of wraps up all of Google and Canvas integration, which I'm very excited to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.